Advance to the topic of interest via the menu in the description below. Stratocone Recovery Kit ensures stable flights and reliable chute deployment. Stratocone Recovery Kit fits 1.5 liter and 2 liter soda bottles. Stratocone Recovery Kit is compatible with most commercial and homemade launchers. Stratocone Recovery Kit works with single bottle, spliced, or FTC water rocket. Stratocone Recovery Kit has enough space inside for the parachute plus a paratrooper. Quickly transfer Stratocone Recovery Kit from one rocket to another. Stratocone Recovery Kit is a reliable recovery system, sleeve and bottle not included. Stratocone Recovery Kit includes Stratocone, Stratochute, Bracket, Fairing, Cord Lock, 4-inch Zip Tie, Tether Line, Bead, and Bottle Cap. Fill 2-liter bottle with hot water. Sit for 1 minute, then remove label. Peel or cut cap ring from the bottle. Cap the bottle, giving it structure by trapping air inside. Remove glue residue with lacquer thinner and paper towel. Draw a line around the bottle using the horizontal base as a guide. Puncture the bottle below the line with a box cutter. Rough cut the lower portion of the bottle away. Cut precisely along the drawn line. Remaining sleeve height of 4 and 3 quarter inch is minimum, although it can be much taller. Like the attachment sleeve, prepare a 1 liter soda bottle, 82 to 87 millimeter wide. Draw a line around the bottom of the bottle 1 quarter inch above the lower seam. Measure 41 millimeters above the line and mark precisely. Draw a line around the bottle at this mark. Puncture the bottle below the bottom line with a box cutter. Puncture the bottle above the other line with a box cutter. Rough cut the lower portion of the bottle away. Cut precisely along the drawn line. Rough cut the upper portion of the bottle away. Cut precisely along the drawn line. Fairing should measure 41 millimeters tall, plus or minus one millimeter. Fairing provides support to the bracket so it doesn't flex. A carbon fiber fairing is available on our website. Launching without a fairing yields premature chute deployment before apogee. Drill a tiny hole one half inch from the bottom edge of the stratocone. Tie a loop on one end of the tether line. Thread the blue bead on the line and loop the line through the bead end loop. Thread the tether line through the strato cone hole from the inside. The bead inside will hold the strato cone from slipping off the tether. Tie a loop on the other end of the tether line. Trim off excess tether line on both ends. Create a lasso on this end and place around the neck of the sleeve. The strato cone will safely descend under chute via the tether line. Drill a one quarter inch hole in the center of a tall bottle cap. Lay out parachute and gather shroud lines without tangles. Carefully place each shroud line in order over the four inch zip tie. Loop the zip tie and pull through the bottle cap hole about 12 inches. Tie a big knot in the middle of all the shroud lines below the cap. Remaining shroud lines above the cap should be about 12 inches long. 
Remove retaining ring if attached to cap or bracket may not be secure. Place fairing on top of sleeve and place bracket over sleeve threads. Push shroud lines through the sleeve neck. Screw the cap onto the sleeve threads until snug. Make sure fairing is centered and level underneath the bracket. If using a short cap, then a 213 O-ring is required below the sleeve threads. Loop Stratocone tether line over top bottleneck. Shorten shroud line length by threading through the cord lock about 12 inches. Thread shroud lines through bracket and fairing and lasso around the neck. Place fairing on top of spliced rocket and place bracket over threads. Screw lined cap on threads to hold fairing and bracket in place. Slide sleeve onto same size soda bottle up to the seam or beyond. Tape is not required unless fit is loose. Refer to Extend 2 liter water rocket at video if you want to test rocket stability. Attach rail guides and employ strato rail if you want to use more water. Fill the bottle with less than 200 milliliters of water and mount the rocket onto the launcher. Fill the bottle up to or less than the score mark on center tube. Tightly fold the chute in small folds and wrap the shroud lines around it. Place the chute on top of the rocket. Vertical is okay. Place the strato cone over the chute. If using a tether line, make sure it is hanging freely. Optional, launch with or without adding a payload. Pressurize the rocket to the desired PSI and release. The strato cone should fall off at apogee deploying the chute. The entire rocket should descend safely under chute. Notice landing speed with chute recovery. Nose diving is not an option. Minimize drift under chute with the chute release device. Prevent loss of rocket plus onboard devices to trees with less drift. Set release altitude at 200 feet. Rocket may drop 25 to 75 feet before chute is fully open. Achieve lower altitude chute deployment with the chute release. See video link above for chute release operation. An altimeter can be placed in the fairing compartment. Shave off 5 grams by not using the altimeter mount kit. Tether the altimeter to the bracket or bottleneck. Carefully remove sleeve and transfer entire assembly to another rocket. Stratocone Recovery Kit, the solution to prevent nose diving.